What's up guys, I'm TobalFC7 and welcome to a brand new vlog and today I bring you the great news that Brandon Rogers signed a new long-term contract uh, with Liverpool Football Club. His contract uh, would have been up uh, after next season and uh, the owners, uh, the FSG group with uh, the Tom Werner and uh, uh, John Henry, Henry uh, they uh, said we are very fortunate to have a huge talented individual leading our football performance and in whom we, we place our trust to deliver the vision we share for Liverpool Football Club and uh, basically they just reaffirmed uh, everyone's belief that uh, Brandon Rogers, uh, together with the owners can bring success to Liverpool Football Club it has been an absolutely remarkable season this uh, last season that we had uh, we scored 101 goals in the league we conceded 50 goals that's where I think we need to strengthen and uh, we need more strength in depth in the squad because next season we will start in the Champions League group stages after finishing second which is a magnificent achievement when Rodgers took over the, ro the team was in disarray don't forget uh, and the guys uh, let me know what do you think about this and uh, who do you want Liverpool to sign this summer and also um, what other clubs should I cover in my uh, transfer news, transfer rumors uh, series. I already did uh, the Liverpool transfer rumors twice this summer and uh, as soon as any new uh, transfer rumors uh, pop up I will, I will cover them in, uh, in depth, in detail. And, uh, but let me know in the comments below which other clubs uh, should I uh, cover, which other English or European clubs do you want me to do transfer rumors on. And I'm very, very happy that Rogers signed a new long-term contract. We don't know exactly how long because the club haven't, hasn't disclosed that. Um, but Rogers is, is very excited about the future and they are working very hard to bring players in. But you have to understand uh, that it doesn't happen easily. Players are on holiday, then they go to the World Cup um, and it's a very long process getting a player officially to sign with Liverpool Football Club and I'm sure uh, they will want to bring in four or five or six new players but the most the other important thing is don't sell too many players because if we sell four and bring in six you only increase the squad by by two so we should we should maybe um, of course uh, there will be some loan signing some loan players coming in back to the club like Borini I think we sell we will sell Asaidi, but it's, I'm especially looking forward to seeing Borini and Suso at Liverpool next season. And what Wendell Rogers did this season, it's a really resounding success. It's not a failure to finish second for Liverpool after I, I remember when Kenny Daglish left, we scored 47 goals in 38 games and we finished uh, I think in, in seventh place or in eighth place actually. And Brandon Rogers came in, yes, we only finished seventh, but we scored 71 goals in his first season. And that was our second most goals in the Premier League era for Liverpool. And that shows how, how much of a remarkable job he did. And this season, we, we broke all sorts of records. Uh, we scored the most goals in Liverpool's league history. And uh, basically, if we keep Luis Suarez... And he said he said many times that he wants to say um, he had a small knee operation before the World Cup, but it, there are talks of uh, him getting um, getting um, treatment. But uh, I think he will be fit for the World Cup. So so uh, Suarez is going nowhere. He said he's happy. He said he doesn't want to go uh, unless Real Madrid bid something incredible like 100, 110 million, I don't think Liverpool will sell and even if they bid that much I don't think we should sell Luis Suarez at any point price because look at Tottenham, they sold Gareth Bale for a world record transfer fee and their club just fell apart, they signed all sorts of different players for vast amounts of money and uh, they finished 6th so it wasn't, it wasn't good for them at all uh, you just can't replace world class players as easy as that. Uh, so I, I'm really looking forward to next season. I think Brandon Rogers is doing a wonderful job. Um, we just need to strengthen our defense. We need a right back. We need a new left back. I would love to see Nathan Klein from Southampton. That's the latest rumor that we are looking at him. Lalana, 
I'm not sure about him. Uh, if he costs 25 million, I think we should bring in Shakiri or Konopriyanka. I would love to see Shakiri uh, at the club. And also there are talks of Mario Balotelli maybe coming to the, back to the Premier League. Arsenal, Liverpool are rumored to look at the, looking at him, but uh, I'm not sure if he would improve our team. He, I checked the Serie A stats. He doesn't. He hasn't scored, scored that many goals. We don't need a striker with Borini coming back in. I think we are sorted. We need. Um, we need a goal-scoring winger, we need a box-to-box uh, -box midfielder to replace Lucas. I think uh, we should la sell Lucas. And we need also a very commanding centre-back who can sort out our defence. So let me know guys, um, what other transfer rumours have you heard? What do you think about this news? I'm very, very happy. Congratulations to Brandon Rogers. Very exciting news for next season. If we bring in the right players, we can challenge for the Premier League again. And who knows how far we can go in the Champions League. You know, Liverpool and the Champions League, they go hand in hand. They, Liverpool have a love affair with the Champions League. And I can't wait to experience the European Knights at Anfield once again. I will keep doing the live reactions, the fans on live reactions during the Liverpool games next season. But I will also do them... During the World Cup, I'm really looking forward to the World Cup as well. So thanks for watching guys, like the video if you enjoyed this vlog and stay tuned for more videos. Subscribe if you are new here. Thanks for watching, have a nice day, goodbye! This is Anfield and welcome to the Liverpool Arsenal game. In this career mode, Arsenal have been out of the top four on a regular basis. So it will be interesting to see what their team is in season six.